my golly gosh, it's about 7,000 degrees. And I'm out on my bike yet again, heading to... You guessed it, tooting. Give you a cuddle. I mean, I missed you. I missed you. This is a, what a change of events this is, eh? Yeah. You used to chase me around. Now all I want to do is cuddle you. I haven't seen Absolutely you so Absolutely not. Eh? How are you faring? I'm doing all right, mate. It's okay. It's all right. I've got my little goat office set up in the corner over there, but it's been okay. It's been all zero right. distraction. Zero distraction. Uh, by the way, when you live on your own, zero distraction. <laughs> the only distraction today is how beautifully sunny it is, and I want to be outside, and I Will want to be. I want to be in the office, man. Are Just you going to pick up your stuff? My fellow goat Fibians, the word hostile takeover is thrown around quite a lot these days. But since the uh, fall of uh, society and goat management, I've taken it upon myself to commandeer said office for the remainder of this closure. I will be leading things up from the front line from nowadays. <laughs> it's clear out week. I'm actually here in the office. It's incredible the amount of junk you accumulate after two years of working here. I'll tell you what, it is really strange being in here. It's deserted, nobody's here. Uh, it's kind of sad because it's not what this office is. This office is vibrant, it's loud and it's noisy and there's Matt, you know, dicking about here like with some water bottles or something, shit like that, you know? I wouldn't say I'm getting emotional, but it's a big step and it's just unfortunate. That we all knew we'd have to move out of here. It's just not the circumstances we wanted. It would have been good to give the Finsbury Square a bit of a send off, but unfortunately, not the case. I better get packing, I guess. A lot of shit to shift, mainly awards, not gonna lie. You're a big personality yeah. and you're dealing with a lot of clients. That's become a lot easier as well because I can tell like my clients are a lot more receptive to just like, if anything I've spoken to them a little bit more, they're much more open to answering the phone when I ring them. And now it's just because that's the only way I can talk to them. They're seeing the opportunity now as opposed to the problem. You know, the start of this, it was very much like, this is life. We sit at home, we work from home. I need to advertise to people because other people are and it's just become a lot easier. What are you going to do it on the side of a bus like that? Man, no one's doing it, are they? Look, they none of them have got any advertising on because yeah. Because they know it's a bad... Look at all these, look at all these impressions that are here. You can see them on either side of the road. We could have the goat vlog. Only if it's got your face on it. There he is, hi Matt. Hello. Come out into the light, people. Oh. So, name of the beast? Louis. Louis. Yeah. Louis Armstrong, because you live in Tooting and he's a trumpeter. Yeah, so the first time he's been outside. Louis's first time outside? He's very curious, isn't he? Yes. Along with the pandemic, you thought, let's get a kitten and get a bit more responsibility. Hannah's been asking for like a pet of some form for ages. We've always been like, oh, it's unfair because we're never here. But we're actually going to be here for long enough for him to grow up so we can go outside. So it's kind of the perfect time to settle yeah. him in. How are you it's guys, though, time. together? There's a lot of people on their own. Yeah, no, I think we're quite fortunate that we are together. Yeah. Even though, like, it has cons. Like, it, yeah. Even if like, you're just trying to work separately, you're like, okay, I'm boxing this room off and you're on a call, you're like, I can still hear that call happening. Do you ever work together? I sometimes get you to, like, check things. But I guess we just bounce off of each other sometimes. Wow, that is a nice bike. That colour palette. It's one of my bikes that my daughter chose. We went to the shop and said, that one, Debbie. She chose well. I'm jealous. I'm checking in on people just to say, look, you doing all right? You guys have each other. I would find it hard if I live by myself right now. Oh, 100%. I think it's difficult enough for living with each other. Like, you still end up having the same frustration. It's like even Boris is saying earliest, it goes back to July. they beginning to open restaurants at that point. Well, we're not getting back on the tube at that point. So you're probably talking yeah. back end of this year if anyone gets back on the train again. A year of our lives are sat inside. Yeah, I called my housemate a naggy sponge yesterday, which she's not, and she cooked a roast and left me out. She said, look, I have actually cooked enough for you, and I, I had too much pride, so I said, no, thank you. So I had a box chicken Kiev. And it was really depressing. So what don't fall out. Do don't fall out. I spotted you from literally a mile away. It's quite something you have here. No wonder you're happy. Yes, it's not bad when it's sunny. This is good. This makes me comfortable. Although any sort of sneezes will directly sprinkle down onto me. Are you doing all your work up there? Yeah, so I can hot spot off my phone. Tell me something interesting about influencer marketing. Everyone wants TikTok at the moment. Do they? It's all the same questions that it ever is. It's like, how do we track revenue? How do we track that it's working? How do we not get lost on it? I think it's the difference between like a brand strategy and someone uh, like an influencer-led strategy and their fashion brands. So like they obviously want it to look like Instagram, but we know that's like not 
how it's going to work. It needs to be much more and curated. Um, this feels so strange. Talk to me about the podcast. We hit number one in the business chart. Is this why you're swanning around in glasses and a kimono? We launched Secure the Bag with Gabby Allen. So me and Frankie have actually filmed six podcasts now. Six? Yeah, we've got a lot coming up. And we've actually got Aston from JLS coming up. I think they're all interesting for like different audiences, but we launched with Gabby because we know her and I feel like the conversation flowed the best. Well, I wish you all the best. Thank you. And my neck hurts craning this much. This is how I'm filming. How far does that thing go? What do you mean? 